guys welcome back to our channel life reviewed my name is Dave and today we are here with the video for which all of you are eagerly waiting for uh, we recently did the unboxing of this this is the CBGK 23 Artemis by Cosmic Bite and uh, everyone does um, you know review and everyone says ah this is good this is um, this is very good about this these are the features and all those things and they do not state what is wrong with this keyboard because they do not use it long enough and that is what I try to do. I try to t bring out the things which the other YouTubers will not say or they will not use it long enough to find out. So uh, let's be different. I will be doing um, uh, the saying the cons of this first and then I will state out the pros. Of course, of course, this has many positives, a few negatives, but I have found out two, three points which are quite problematic and for that i will be making a separate video and i will link that you can find that link in the description below and at the end of this video so do stick around for that and check that out after seeing this because this um i will be studying important things for this and these things will not be included in that video so let's start with the proper review of this um so as i said uh, this is a mechanical keyboard and um, this uses otemu blue switches these are very clicky switches and i'll be doing the typing test of this by the end of this video so another reason for you to stick around and um, let me do a size see as i, as I told you this is a 65 percent keyboard um, so this is very small this is smaller than a regular size keyboard and this is also smaller than a 10 keyless keyboard and to tell you what i'm talking about i will show you a size comparison so to let you know of the size difference i have here a full size keyboard and the one that we are reviewing right now so as you can see the difference this is quite small this is actually if you can if you, if you place it here this is what it is this actually is this part and they have added um, a separate uh, column of keys here which i will come to later on but actual 60 percent keyboard means this this part of that so this is the this is also a mechanical keyboard and this is the evo fox uh, katana i'll put the link of that if you are interested in this one so this also has blue auto switches but coming back to this uh, this is how it looks this is the difference of that so that you know uh, you can make an informed decisions of what you want so of course this part is missing the numpad is missing this thing is missing only this as i said so coming to the next one i will show you let me get rid of that yeah so i'll show the difference between a tkl and a 65 percent keyboard so this keyboard is from cosmic byte uh, same maker this is the cosmic byte cbgk 18 uh, firefly is the name of this again as you can see of uh, see in this this is smaller than uh, the full size keyboard and this is the difference so again this part this is what we get here so this is the number this uh, this actually deletes the numpad from the full size keyboard and uh, this is somewhere in between i actually prefer this because this has all uh, the shortcuts the fn keys uh, i am a programmer and um, i use these shortcuts for debugging and whatnot so <clears throat> now let me let's come back to this one <clears throat> so i guess after this you have got a fair idea of the size difference of this now coming to the keys <clears throat> and the stabilizers let me show you <clears throat> so as i said this uses otemu blue switches very clicky otemu blue switches are the clickiest after that is the brown and then the red these are these are real these are um, silent uh, not even the tactile feedback you get it but these are the blue these are stabilizers here but one thing one difference that i saw here let me let me show you in the cosmic byte cbgk18 if you can see the keys used here if you see they have this <clears throat> you see this blade here this is missing here and this what actually does is it, it provides a little bit more stability it, it prevents the keys from wobbling more so i'm surprised this is a newer version this is cbgk23 and i was expecting them to have this thing this is actually the older version and my katana has this katana is an old keyboard my katana has uh, this type of but yeah i don't know uh, for what reason but uh, they have decided to use the older one but quality wise it is um, it is a very good key it does not does not uh, uh, affect that so but yeah it would have been better if they have used the um, this generation key <coughs> keys uh, so um another uh, we'll come to that uh, later on i'll show you show that to you 
let's not go into that right now so <clears throat> as i said i will start with the cons of this one so <clears throat> um this has double shot key key caps so by double shot what it means is normal keyboards has a layer of coating on that and when you use it uh, for a long time this black layer it comes off and uh, white the the plastic layer comes off so uh, these days mechanical keyboards are being made as double shot so double shot what it means is you can see there is two layers this actually has a plastic layer at the bottom and on top of that this is not a paint but this is <clears throat> another layer of plastic so as you can see this marking here this is actually this this layer from behind from beneath so the, what it does is it carries the light uh, very well from that and it does not fade off <clears throat> now <clears throat> what i did not like about this is the quality of this one is not very good uh, the double shot quality if you can see and the uh, overall quality of this key of the cbgk 23 is is inferior to the earlier ones since it's, it's inferior to my uh, evo fox katana and inferior to the cbgk 18 so yeah that's one thing that's the first um, con that i wanted to start off with and um, <clears throat> um when we look at the back side of it there is a toggle key here which i found really unnecessary what actually it does is i remember we were, we were quite confused during the unboxing that what is this but what it does is if i flip it off it turns off the light and frankly that is quite unnecessary i will tell you why this usually uh, this we can find that in key um, in wireless keyboards to save battery but here it does not make much sense because we can do that function from the shortcut itself if you can see fn and this it turns off so that is actually a bit redundant i i'm not sure why they put it in but uh, yeah i guess it was unnecessary um the third point the lack of um, many keys they, as you see this is not for everyone this people might find it troublesome as you know we are accustomed to the full size keyboards and from my own experience when i use the keyboard sometimes i try to reach keys which are not there i try to reach out for f4 to refresh my page or f12 to open the debugger but it's not there also that uh, since the numpad is not there i am unable to do the calculations and i have to use um shortcuts every time so yeah once or twice is okay for but to use shortcuts for everything to use shortcut for home end pause insert it becomes a bit tiresome so be very careful when you are buying this um understand your needs while you're buying this and if you have a lot of uh, need for those keys i would suggest do not go for that the next point I used to say is the cable is not braided. This is a, even though the quality is quite good, uh, this is not braided. It's a simple uh, plastic uh, cable. Uh, it's a USB-C cable. So one point, uh, that is one point you should be aware of. Uh, the third point that I want to say is uh, this script right here, switch to God mode. This is very, out of place here i really did not like it. it it actually looks cheap and it actually looks awkward i wish they did not do this uh, this is this is this um this branding out of place branding i really did not like it there are three or four other points which is actually uh, the ones that i told you just now these are a little bit inconvenient but you can make do without those but the points that i have uh more problems which is actually something which you cannot ignore and i'll put those in the uh, in another video i'll link that uh, as i said in the description to check it out <clears throat> so um let's come to the pros now and there are quite a lot of this uh, the first pro i would say the build quality is very very good this is very heavy for a keyboard of this size and uh, one uh, let me show you one reason for that is let me lock this first one reason for this is <clears throat> this part here this is metal it's quite tight <clears throat> yeah so this part here as you can see this this is metal the plate at the, the base plate if you can see this is plastic but this here is metal this is very thick metal and it gives um, quite a heft to this keyboard and i would say that's a good thing because it gives you stability and uh, it's needed why i will tell you in the uh, i will tell you uh, in a few minutes 
so coming to the size as i said the size might be a problem but the size can be a good thing also when does it become a good thing uh when your table is small and you want a very minimalist look for you and you just use it for typing or little bit uh, gaming so then it is a very uh, good size for you so now uh, another point is as i said the um, 60% true 60% keyboard does not have this one so they very thoughtfully included this and at least we have this del uh, delete page up page down and this arrow keys here normally in other 60% keyboards even the to access the arrow keys you will have to press the function key and use that but thankfully they have used that and actually this is right now in india this is the only keyboard which has these things uh, all the rest of the keyboard 60% keyboards does not have that so this is a very good thing for which i would recommend this keyboard to you <clears throat> now um another thing which i liked is this detachable keyboard the sorry not keyboard the detachable cable so and the thing that the cable is a micro usb c so you don't have to um, you know go for micro usb uh, have multiple cables around so this micro usb c would take care of that and you know you can put it either way you don't have to make sure that's in the right way and all those things and i really wish more keyboards uh, start to include this you know this is um it's it's uh, neater to carry around it's neater to pack it you know if you're moving around a lot so that is one good thing which i hope that other keyboard companies also use <clears throat> so let's see let's see uh yeah the cable of this is 1.5 so it's quite more than idle so that will give you um more than enough length to use it you know even if you just sit back and do some gaming uh this actually the the other keyboards like this keyboard cbgk firefan all those things cosmic belt has um, uh, um marketed it as gaming keyboards for but for some reason they have not used the word gaming here anywhere Uh, but they have they have all the gaming features in this you know they have this windows lock button they have anti ghosting keys all the all the bells and whistles um i guess one reason for that is because uh, in gaming you need more keys and you know it's a bit of a less key i guess maybe that's the reason but if the question is in their mind that if you can use it for gaming definitely you can use it for gaming also now um one good thing that i like is which is again not present in the other keyboards um is when you press the caps lock key whatever mode it is in so if you press the caps lock key it turns white so it's it's a good reminder that the caps lock is on i really this this um, feature is actually not there in my um evo fox katana so it it was something very nice to have uh now <clears throat> let me show you the modes of this and then we'll move on to the sound test i know many of you are very very eager for that <clears throat> let me just put this back in now the modes <clears throat> there are quite a few keyboards a uh, few keyboard shortcuts and one thing is that another thing which this one have and till now i haven't seen in other keyboards is they have a lock key here we all know about the windows key windows lock you know what it does is you lock it and while you are playing you do not accidentally press this window and the start menu pops up and you are out of the game <laughs> and you break your keyboard so that won't happen here happen here uh, you can lock that up but apart from that you can actually lock the entire keyboard so if you press function and for 5 seconds press this you can see this uh, lock key that turned white so that means this is locked and whatever you do nothing will be input in your keyboard so this is one neat feature that they have Ah, apparently uh, this has a little bit of connectivity issue <laughs> this is one of the cons again you know if i if i am moving it around <coughs> the keyboard is getting disconnected <coughs> so this is something i just found out one more thing that we brought in <laughs> keep that in mind <coughs> anyways another good thing that i found out about this is in, in the rest of the keyboards uh, to change your lighting you have to use the software uh, of course this also has a software and i'll put the link of uh, the software down uh, in the description but in this keyboard you can actually take care of most of the things from the keyboard itself so most of the other keyboards you can just change the uh, the breathing patterns but this one here is actually you can change the colors i'll show that to you I'll, i'll show you all the functions just give me a minute so first of all uh, function and this delete key here what it will do is it will change the modes so i'll show you all the modes so this is one 
this is the same uniform color you can change the color there are seven colors in this the next one is it's a breathing effect on and off this is another this is the snake effect the next is whatever key you input it will light up and the next is this again it's a raindrop type of effect it will uh, blink and uh, change the color next is this again a standard one another breathing effect but different from the others it's a flow uh, this is a slowly changing color not much of no breathing effect here and random colors again this this is the same color another one waves as you see there's a lot there's a lot and we are i think we're back at the first one yes <clears throat> now uh, we can change the monochrome color from here itself the other keyboards most of the other keyboards don't have it you can click fn and use this the tilde key usually this key is here but in the small keyboard they have placed it here and if i do this it's red green blue pink yellow and white i prefer this one actually for my uh, when i use this for my office so that take cares of the modes and uh, actually you can get all the modes uh, they have a booklet in in uh, along with the keyboard and they have listed this out everything so if you go and buy this you can get everything here and there are multiple videos out there which will give you um, this in much more details you can have a look at that also yeah so now the most important part of this video that is the typing test let me bring my mic nearby so that you can have a record property uh, quick blue box So this, I actually like the sound of this more than the uh, more than the CBGK 18 and 16. That is the Firefly. The switch, the keys has no wobble, very less wobble. And um, the Firefly actually had more wobble than this. Let me show you. Uh, the, the space bar, since it's a big one, it still wobbles a lot here. But the rest of the keys that have really less wobble, and as a result, this keyboard feels very stable so that's it for today guys and i will be posting the two videos together do check that out if you want to see what is wrong with this keyboard and if you really should buy this and uh, i hope you like this video if you did like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one till then check out one of our latest videos here goodbye and stay safe